So we have electricity, okay. and here is a. This is a watch. Okay. With the energy harvesting. So hello. So who are you? Yes. Uh, hi, I'm Matthias. I work for Electricity. So we have developed the uh, world's highest uh, ambient light energy harvester. And so here it's shown in a uh, watch that was just uh, launched by Russians. So uh, this is a watch with no battery, or no? Oh, there's a battery, but uh, no. It's a, a mechanical uh, watch, and the um, energy harvesting is used to provide app-enabled functions um, in a way that uh, sort of uh, keeps the design, the language of the Russians watch. So it's a, a very uh, a particular design, so you can see it's under the shutters uh, here to provide uh, the power when required. Uh, but otherwise, it's a mechanical watch. Um, so, what is the power for? Does it have uh, uh, Bluetooth? Uh, uh, yes, it connects to an app on your phone to uh, show um, information about the uh, watch for time setting and other functions. Um, so it's fully app enabled, um, and so that that's entirely powered by uh, by energy harvesting in this watch. Um, uh, and uh, so obviously the, the key here is to be able to provide as much power from a, a small area as possible and that's, that, that's what we enable here. So where's your energy harvester? Uh, so it's so, 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 so integrated here under the shutters uh, on front of the watch. So this is uh, uh, your part right so here? So that's the part exactly, yes, yeah, that's uh, been designed to be integrated into the watch. What is it, uh, a solar panel or what is this? It's a light energy harvesting technology exactly that's uh, been designed to be as efficient as possible under ambient light level conditions. Um, uh, that can be customized for charging applications such as uh, these uh, watches here. And uh, you, you can also power, uh, this is right here. Uh, yes. It, go like this. Yes, so you can power other types of uh, uh, products using displays, whether it's an MIP display, an e ink display, um, a Bluetooth uh, a sensor, so any product that otherwise would require rechargeable or disposable batteries. How do we power this one on? Um, yeah. Yeah, so okay, you can here. sort of uh, see here, obviously, so it's providing power to the uh, memory and pixel display, so that's a, um, memory just a LCD. demonstrator, um, but it could be obviously uh, integrated into a watch or other type of variable display um, a device, um, a building automation device or um, um, a retail application. Can so I click on another? Oh, uh, yes, yes, so we can sort of obviously move that to a different nice. uh, uh, setting here. Um, so there's um, uh, plenty of power to power both the display, <coughs> a wireless transmitter, other sensors. And this um, could be on the on the wrist or no? Uh, well, it could be integrated in all sorts of different ways. I mean, you, you can. Uh, it can be conformed to uh, to integrate into a watch. So you can see, obviously, here in the example of the Russians watch, uh, that it can be customized to a very uh, high degree. That's one example here. But it's just but only behind this. Yes, exactly. It's it's very small, uh, but it's still providing sufficient power to uh, uh, power the app-enabled functions on the watch. The Bluetooth. Uh, yes, yeah, Bluetooth. Uh, uh, obviously, then the electronics that are in the watch to uh, to set the time, for example. So this is a prototype or? Uh, well, this has uh, uh, just been announced by Russians uh, earlier this year in uh, Geneva at the watch show. Um, uh, and so uh, so it's uh, obviously uh, um, uh, launching in the market very soon. But uh, wouldn't it be uh, maybe uh, potentially better if you had a bigger surface that you would use for your solar panel? Something uh, maybe have the whole... Uh, of course, it's uh, it is entirely up to the product designer to decide how they want to use the technology. Obviously, in watches or other applications, design is really important, and so there's always a trade-off between maximizing the area for the solar device, but then also having area for other functions. Um, and so that is what we enable. So we produce a lot of power from a small area, so you don't need to use all of the available area just for the solar uh, device. So you have space for display, other uh, uh, functions on the watch, but uh, of course. Yes, if, if you use more area, then you can uh, sort of, uh, um, uh, provide more power. So this is a micro viscometer. Uh, yes, so that's another um, um, application here, just showcasing what our technology can do. So here is uh, powering a, a fluid sensor um, and then uh, uh, providing power for the sensing as well as the wireless connectivity to a gateway. Sensing what kind of fluid? Uh, this is uh, uh, for could be for uh, oil analysis, uh, actually also for blood analysis. So this is another application from another customer. Um, you have some other watch designs over here. So um, this is uh, just a demo really here to show that, uh, of course, it, it can be made in different uh, form factors. It can be semicircular um, uh, uh, to, to be uh, sort of uh, integrated on the dial. Um, perhaps this is sort of a more um, uh, um, 
traditional design where sort of just you have half of the uh, area um, uh, occupied by the dial and then the other half you would have for a display. Nice. But there, there are many different possibilities. So how soon are we going to see uh, all these watches on the market? Oh, you'll see the first of them in this year, of course. That yes, will yeah. be your first, the first of your technology? Um, um, but we're first in a watch application, this yes, year. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, this year, yes. And uh, you have your um, technology in other things already? The uh, there are the so other customers designing it into other applications. Uh, you're talking about uh, indoor harvesting? Maybe uh, this part of the phone and that part of the phone? Uh, this be? is uh, actually so this is more about building automation sensors, so a sensor in the building that connects to your phone. Yeah, we have uh, customers looking at all sorts of building automation applications, industrial applications, uh, medical applications. There's a wide range of applications where um, yeah, people uh, want to uh, get away from using disposable or rechargeable batteries. Would you want to put it on the back side of your phone maybe? Uh, I think uh, probably for these uh, sort of large devices it's maybe not the best application because obviously you have a very large battery in the phone so it's very challenging to provide power to a, such a power hungry device but there are many devices which consume less power where it does make a lot of sense such as watches, IoT sensors um, yeah.